All right, good afternoon, Apollo Baptist Church. This is Pastor Gary on Friday, May 15th. Um, met with the pastors last night after the governor's newest um, executive order. Um, and we have a plan to return to campus. And it's a, it's a, it, it is a progression, all right? So you'll notice that one of the things that our pastors we, we talked about was we feel like it's necessary to have to return to campus in a progression. So um, I want to give you our plan to return to campus, our progressive plan to return to campus. Um, effective immediately, we are going to go back to allowing um, in-person meetings of 10 people or less, okay? That means um, your home groups or the home groups that we started um, when this crisis first started um, back in, I want to say March, um, we did that for three weeks. Those are welcome to meet again. Um, so if you've got a group of 10 people or less, you are welcome to meet even at the, at the church or at home. You're welcome to do that immediately. You need to tell us if it's happening or not, even if it's at your home, so we can resource you the right way, but effective immediately, we're going to do that. And then July 5th, okay, very important date, July 5th will be our first worship service in the sanctuary. When we go back to that in on July 5th, uh, that worship service will, we won't have Sunday school. Um, we're not going to have children's ministry or nursery. No, it's just the service, okay? Um, and then we, and then our home groups that we have been building from this will meet in the evening there. So we encourage you to start thinking about because thinking about in your groups a really good structure right now for the next six weeks would be Sunday morning allow for time to watch the the sermon um, and in the next few weeks we're actually going to start putting music in that. Uh, um, Pastor Brian and the praise band is going to start rec recording music before I preach so it's going to be a great deal longer so you can allot the the morning for the recording of a, of a service and then meet with your home group that evening or some other time during the week um, for discussing uh, the sermon because that's the structure you're going to have when we go back to campus July 5th. Um, questions on that. I know some people are thinking, well, I mean, I've got a friend whose church is meeting right now. Um, as, and you're probably right. Um, most churches right now, I would say in Arizona, are going back to meetings, some of them this Sunday, most by June. Um, and we're not starting until July 5th. So why why the wait? Okay, so let me give you a few reasons why. Um, one, the, you know, the pastoral staff did not feel like the executive order um, was telling us to go back to meeting as a church. Uh, we They felt like, you know, they were saying, well, look, we don't want to infringe on your um, you know, your rights or anything, we would, we would like no groups of, ten, of more than 10 to me. But if you're going to do it, then here's things we'd like you to, to we, they just felt like the spirit of the law was not really encouraging us to meet. So that, that was a big thing uh, for a progression. Um, the other thing is um, it, it allows us um, some, t some time to pull the church. Okay. What I mean by that is when we come back to meeting as a as a church, we need to know how many people are planning to do that. <laughs> if everybody comes who could come, we could end up having a packed house. So we're not going to be able to distance anybody if we do it that way. So we, we I think that a lot of people are probably going to still kind of hang back for the first while. So, uh, but I don't know that. And so if we if we do home groups for six weeks, we could. We, it gives us time to pull the church, see who's come, who's planning on coming immediately, who's planning on hanging back for a while. Because if if we get an idea that there's going to be 400 people in the sanctuary, then we may have to go to two services just for a, a temporary time. I'm not I'm not ever planning on going to two services for the long run, but I will do it for safety temporarily. So it gives us time to do that. Um, the other thing it helps us do is is just kind of prepare for changes in the state. So I wouldn't be surprised if in two or three weeks, you know, the governor's like, actually, no, we need to hunker down again. Give us some time for th some things to change. Um, it also gives us time to prepare for some essential meetings that have to happen when we start meeting. Um, we've got a bunch of things that we got to do. Um, you know, our our uh, we have two new staff members since the pandemic, since we went underground that you don't, many of you have never even met in person. So I'm not even talking about Pastor Brian, the worship pastor, who we hired like the week we went underground. Um, you know him. But the other two, we have a new custodian, a, a church intern that we're hiring in June, like a bunch of people you need to actually like meet. And then we have some 
planning meetings that we got to do, some things to vote on, uh, go over finances, you know, make sure that everybody knows where uh, we got some things to plan. We've got probably 15 new members that we're going to be presenting. We need to present these people. <laughs> so um, we we've got some things to, to order. We can't do them all at once. So it's helpful to give us some time. Also, we've got some logistical and administrative preparations to make. We're going to be live streaming the sermon portion in the service. Um, and that's that's going to take some preparation, some new things, some training people we haven't done before. So it gives us some time to do that. Please be in prayer. I can't wait to come back uh, together with you. I can't wait. I, so, I just miss you so much. Um, and I know it's another six weeks, but you can still meet in groups. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited for my home group to meet in person. I love you all. I'll, I'll talk to you soon, um, but be in prayer and be ready.